It's June 1st, 2020, and we are live on the Pro Football Chase podcast with another NFL player on the line. Today, it's Buccaneers wide receiver John Franklin III joining us. So, John, thanks for joining me today. How are you doing? Man, I'm doing good, man. Blessed to be alive. Thank you for having me on. Not a problem, man. I hope all is going well. We know that this COVID pandemic has been over us for quite some time, still going on, but we're learning to reopen things around the country. So I'm glad to hear there's some encouraging news on that front. But John, you've uh, had quite the journey to the NFL. You played at Florida Atlantic. You went to Florida State and Auburn and a lot of different teams, but you eventually ended up in the NFL and you've played a variety of different positions. So can you just briefly talk about your journey to the NFL and what you've enjoyed the most about it? Um, My journey to the NFL is unlike any other, in my opinion, and to kill two birds with one stone. That's really what I like most about my journey, Um, you know, from the multiple stops that I had made in college to coming in the NFL to playing a position I never played before when I played corner. I never played on defense a day of my life. So, you know, coming to the highest level as a defender, learning that position and excelling in it, and now, you know, kind of comes full circle where I went to Tampa playing defense and now I'm back playing offense where I'm comfortable so, you know, um, that's one of the things that I love about my journey, man. Um, it really, you know, teaches perseverance to go after something that you really want, no matter, you know, what happens, you got to keep chasing it. And, you know, sometimes life might deal you a bad a bad hand of cards, but you still got to find a way to come out on top and win. And I feel like that's what my life story represents. And I feel like that's, um, you know, the greatest thing about my journey. Now, John, one thing that I found really interesting about you, man, you mentioned it, okay? You said you entered the NFL, you played a little bit of defensive back when you went with the Bears, and now you're obviously back to wide receiver with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but you learning that entire position of defensive back, how much has that benefited your skill set as a wide receiver now being on the opposite end? Uh, I mean, it helps me out a lot because, you know, being on that side of the ball, first starting off playing offense and then going to defense, I knew about defense from an offensive perspective. So I was able to know coverages. I knew who was dropping where. But seeing it on the defensive side, it was literally like a foreign language to me. Like I kept getting confused, you know, talking which side of the ball I'm on. Like I'm on the left, but I'm thinking that I'm like receiver still. So it took a lot of getting used to and adjusting. You know, playing defense, I had the perspective of an uh, offensive player playing quarterback, so I knew coverages. I knew what the defenders, their position was and all what they were doing. But actually putting myself at corner and playing the position, it was unlike every, anything I've ever really did before. Um, you know, as far as the movement and moving backwards and then somebody's coming full speed at me and I have to break when he breaks. Like, seeing the feel from that view was real different. I think it will benefit me more now being back on offense because as I'm lining up, I know what the guy across me is really thinking and what was going through his head because I was in the shoes before. So I'm really looking to see um, how that, you know, transitions and makes my game better now back going to offense this year. Backtracking a little bit, you signed onto the Buccaneers practice squad as a wide receiver in November of 2019. You were promoted to their active roster on December 24th. Now, when you actually went out there and you made your debut, I saw you got a rush for 11 yards and you were able to get some action out there. What was that moment like for you considering all the obstacles, the challenges that you overcame to compete at the highest level? Um, it was, like I said, it's crazy because everything comes back full circle. I mean, it was just, I talked about my family just about last week when we were together for Memorial Day. And um, just thinking back at high school, I never wanted to play quarterback. Like, I was kind of forced into playing that position. So once I started it, and I, I liked the fact that I had the ball in my hand. Like, I never wanted to not play quarterback. And then I went through all those position changes to now take my first official, quote-unquote, snap in the NFL at quarterback. And it's just, it's just how ironic how, you know, God makes things come back full circle. You know, I'm just glad to have the opportunity to be back on the side of the ball that I really, really enjoy being on. I really love and I think I excel best at with my 
skill set. John, how have you benefited from being under Bruce Arians' system as well as offensive coordinator Byron Lefwich? Uh, I mean, to be honest, I haven't really came across a, a duo like that that has saw um, potential and put it to use right away. Um, I mean, the way I got promoted was in practice. I was a scout team. I was at playing receiver, but then B.A. came over to me and asked me to be Deshaun Watson. And two days later, like, they're already scheming plays up for me. And, like, I think, you know, that's how it should be. If you see something that you have that you know is different and stands out, you can use it, don't be scared to use it. And I feel like throughout my career, a lot of people were scared to use me to the fullest. And that's one thing I'm really grateful of and where I'm at is I have two coaches that believe in me. All my coaches really believe in me because I have my own unique talent, my own unique set of skills that sets me apart. It really allows me to create my own role within the team. And I'm very appreciative to have a head coach that sees that firsthand and, and, and acts on it because that's all I ever want. You have a lot of power in that wide receiver room in Tampa. Mike Evans, Chris Godwin in there. How much have you been able to chat with them and really just learn more about the intimacies of the wide receiver position? I mean, for me, you know, it was, you know, all the receivers in the room when I first came over had opened up, you know, was teaching me things real fast. I pick up things real fast. And, you know, they really just, you know, Open me, open up the room with real arms and just welcome me in. And, you know, having a room like that where, you know, those type of guys, you know, it makes you play even more confident because, you know, they believe in you. I've seen videos of you, John, out there grinding, training every single day, and it looks like you're turning the corner. You're continuing to improve your assets as a player. So talk a little bit about your training regimen this offseason. Uh, my training regimen this season has really not affected, been affected, you know, due to all the virus and stuff like that. Um, I'm a workout junkie. Uh, I love grinding. I love putting in the work. Um, I believe in, you know, grinding for what you really want. And I try to live that by example. And, um, you know, so for me, you know, I get at it six days a week, um, sometimes twice a day. One day of the week, I go three times a day. And it's just always been me since I was younger. Like, I always... Everybody that knows me knows I like to go work out. That's kind of like my hobby. So for me, you know, I'm just doing what I normally always have done. And the fact that we get an extra time to do it, I feel like it's even benefiting me more. Um, and getting ready to go into training camp, I feel real good about it. Now, the question I'm sure everyone has been hammering you about, you know that Tom Brady is now in Tampa Bay. How excited are you to be teammates with him? Oh, uh, man, it's, you know, it's... um. I've, I've been fortunate to have been on a couple of teams with a lot of great players, um, even dating back to college. And, uh, I mean, you know, to be able to say that I'm about to be in the locker room or getting passes from, you know, the greatest athlete of all time, regardless of the sport. I mean, you know, that alone just to have – I want to be able to pick, you know, his mentality. Like, you know, I just watched the Michael Jordan last dance and just to see how those guys really – really go after it for greatness. And, like, I, that's how my mindset has always been. And to just, you know, be able to finally be able to, you know, pick his brain and get some of that stuff, that's what I'm looking forward to most, honestly. A couple more questions here before we let you off the hook, John. But one, we know the NFL has been doing the virtual off-season programs. I've talked to a variety of different players, and they say that there's a lot of positives to it because, you know, they're able to stay home with family. They're able to uh, stay away and really enjoy this offseason while still being engaged with the team. What's your perspective on the virtual offseason program? Um, honestly, it's been very beneficial. Um, I'm a fan of it. Um, you know, coming for me, it's an opportunity to slow things down even more because um, I was kind of thrown into the offensive side of the ball, the line side, and just had to learn game plan and all that stuff. So for me, I'm able to go back to day one and saw that I never got a chance to get. So for me, really learning the offense and it's really clicking because I'm pretty good on picking up stuff like that. But to really know the ins and outs and um, the, at the pace that we're going, you know, smaller groups. Like I, I like that a lot. And, you know, enjoying um, time at home. I recently just moved here to Tampa. So being able to spend time with my girlfriend here in a new house and, you know, just – 
not, you know, be able to live and, and relax a little bit as opposed to going, going, going all the time. So I, I, I've liked it a lot, personally. That's good to hear, man. And lastly, John, you know the amount of people that have been in your corner since day one through your journey playing football. So what is your message to those people who have been encouraging you and now as they see you in Tampa Bay looking to carve out a significant role in offense in 2020, what do you want them to know about what you're going to produce on that gridiron? I really just want everybody to know that. I'm just really getting started. Um, I know a lot of, you know, my supporters, they've been through me through this long train. It seems so long. And I know a lot of people, you know, congratulate me for making it this far. But to me, I'm just getting started. Like, I really hate the scratch the surface of the things I've dreamt of doing from a little kid. You know, I'm able to live my dream now. But now what I really want to do is live that legendary, you know, dream of being one of the greats that I've always, you know, pushed myself to be. And, like, so I just want everybody to know that we really just getting started my mind. Well, John, man, you're an inspiration to many people who look up to you. I appreciate you taking the time again. I know you got some things going on over there with the team, but hey, best of luck this coming season. I'll be rooting for you as you take the field in Tampa Bay. Blessings, brother, and stay safe. Appreciate you, man. Love. God bless. All right. God bless you, too.